Okay, here we are in the class, and this is your textbook, uh, Head First uh, HTML CSS. I like this book because it's a very lightweight uh, way of uh, introducing the concepts. It's uh, made for just about anyone who ever wanted to learn this and not necessarily for uh, developers. So uh, we start here with the, this is the author and everything else, but really you want to go to chapter one. And you can see here in chapter one, they start with a story and they really explain how everything works. So if you try to skip through this and just try to get to assignments, you're going to miss all this great information about what you're doing and why you're doing it. And then when you have to apply the knowledge uh, and create, actually create a website, uh, you're going to be lost because you're not going to know all this. So you can see lots of pictures. Um, so it's not that a lot of reading. So my recommendation is you go through it and hit uh, through, you know, 10, 12 pages a night, just reading through it, and then go back and then do what it says to do. Now, one of the things it wants you to do is use an H, use an, uh, a text editor to write your pages. Well, my instructions show we use HTML Kit, and there's a couple of ways we can start that. One is we can go ahead and hit start all programs and you know, watch me not find it now uh, HTML kit so if you install it on your home computer it'll be here if you're in Windows 7 if you're Windows 8 you're gonna have to type HTML kit in a search thing to find the application uh, here I'll just go ahead and double click on it it'll go ahead and open up another thing you can do is when you download the zip file if you just uncompress the zip file um, it ends up uh, it'll end up with a folder just like this so uh, if you put it on your stick you'll always have HTML kit with you and you can go to library or friend's house or whatever and be able to use HTML kit so I recommend both doing both install it on your home computer so it's there but also uncompress the file folders and just leave it like this and then you can run it from any computer so how do I start HTML kit I double click on HTML kit folder and then there's a folder called bin which is what we use for our executable files and then down here you'll find HTML kit.exe that is the thing that's going to start HTML kit for us all right it's starting off on the right hand side so you can barely see it um, but until it gets going for Windows 7 I have to authorize its use and of course it didn't open up like it should but normally we'll go you through go through and ask you a bunch of questions and I've obviously clicked the box that says stop asking me those questions it usually asks you do you want to look for updates blah 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 the answer to all those questions is no do not go for updates and all that it ends up breaking it so just say no 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 until you get to the last one and the last one uh, says what would you like to do and we want to create a new document Okay, and I'll bring plus style sheet. All right, so this is what it looks like. And let me move it up a little bit. Um, normally it starts with HTML on there, and of course this is not doing it. Uh, but normally when it opens up a new page, uh, it'll open up. Oh, wait a second, let's go ahead and get down to the bottom. Oh, get down to the bottom. There we go. All right. So here's the editor. We want to go ahead and um, add HTML. So um, you're going to type it yourself, but uh, fortunately I already have the file, so I'm going to go ahead and your first thing that you're going to type uh, is all these tags. So the, I just this is just what's in the book. Uh, you should type it and then see how it looks. Now they ask you to save the file and then open it up in the browser. The beauty of HTML Kit is you don't have to do that. I haven't even saved this file, and yet I can go ahead and hit the preview button and see what it looks like. And there, there is our web page. So uh, here I'm using the H1 and H2 tags to make it nice and big and bold, I'm using paragraph tags to separate each one. And it goes through in the book and tells you what all these different tags do. And then as you're going, you can go ahead and hit the preview button and then see how it looks. Um, then after you've created this page it says well you know that's a pretty ugly page you know who wants to look at that 
uh, let's go ahead and dress it up a little bit. And what they do is they're going to add a style uh, inside the head tag. So underneath here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same one that pretty much the same one they wanted to, to use. And inside the head, underneath the title, I'm going to go ahead and paste in some styles. And what this style is, and let me just move it over a little bit, is that I'm going to change the attributes of the body. I'm going to change the background color to aqua. I'm going to put some margins on the page so it's just not sitting there looking ugly. And first a left margin, a, mi a right margin. And then I said, well, let's go ahead and put a, a border around that thing to make it look a little prettier. And then add some padding so around the border it's not sitting on that line. And that's what that padding is. And the last one is what kind of font family do you want to use? Notice that these are in braces, so it says anything that's in these braces are attributes that we use for the body. If I misspell something, it will not work. You have to be very careful. That's why copy and pasting is a good good way of doing it. This brace starts it, that brace stops it, and that when I preview it, ooh. Okay, so a lot different. Um, eventually, I'm going to want to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Save button. It's going to ask me where do I want to save it. And I'm going to put it on my USB drive. I recommend you put everything on your USB drive. And the reason for that is it makes it easier to find things. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. And that new folder is going to be called Starbuzz. Okay, and then inside that folder, I'm going to call this index.html because this is the home page right now for that index.html. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. All right, so now it's closed. Again, there it's working. When I want to work on it again, I'll open up HTML kit. And then I can use this uh, open file button right here or click on file and then open file. It will go back to the same folder you were just in. So here is my star buzz. But I can, if I wanted to, I can go back into anything and go ahead and get it. When I double click on it, it's going to open up the HTML. And again, when I hit preview, it's going to show me how it works. So that's the, the beginnings of this class. The first chapter is pretty easy, just a lot of reading. But uh, you're going to learn an awful lot just that first chapter. And if you don't understand something, read back through it again because the first chapter is the definitions of just about everything you're going to do.